hello and welcome to another video so in today's tutorial we will be making the cmos nand gate so we will proceed in uh, creating a new cell view called nand once the cell view has been created we will proceed in uh, instantiating the two pmoses and two nmos is required the two pmoses are in parallel whereas the two nmoses are in series go ahead and make the circuit connections also tie the body of the pmos to vdd and the body of nmos to vss add pins vdd vss the two inputs a and b Go ahead and label the inputs as A and B. And also don't forget to add the output pin and also remember to change the direction to output. Check and save. You shouldn't get any errors. Then the next step will be to create a new symbol Check and save So the next step will be to create a new cell view called NAND test to test for its functionality Here we will instantiate the symbol and give P plus C as two words for VTD. Go ahead and instantiate them from analog LIB. make the circuit connections as your nmoses are in series it have to be twice the original width that is 800 nanometers and to compensate for the mobility of holes make the PMOSes twice as big as well By doing this, we ensure that the, the drive strength of this gate is as equal to the drive strength of a inverter. The next step will be to launch the ADL in order to simulate my NAND gate. Choose the type of analysis 
but before that we will have to give the specifications of the input pulse so it varies from 0 to 2 volts with a period of 20 nanoseconds and the input B will be of 0 to 4 volts with a period of 40 nanoseconds and also label them as you as you wish and the VDD will be of DC voltage to So the transient analysis we can simulate it for 90 nanoseconds and the outputs that need to be plotted will be selected on the schematic. We plot the two inputs and the output respectively and you can simulate the design. So as you can see the functionality of an AND gate is verified 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. these are the two inputs and the waveform at the bottom is our output so you can zoom into your waveform so the next step would be to calculate the propagation delay go to tools calculator from the function panel choose delay the signal 1 will be input and the signal 2 will be that of the output the threshold values will be 50 percent of vdd that is 1 volt and the input is falling edge 1 whereas your output is rising edge 1 hit apply and run so we end up with a propagation delay of 56 picoseconds Make sure to tabulate all these data for future reference. So now in order to increase the drive strength of an AND gate, if you want to create an AND 2x that has two times the drive strength, what you will have to do is to increase the width of the transistors by 2 and if you want a drive strength of 4 you will have to correspondingly increase the width of the transistors by a factor of 4. So this video summarizes the schematic design and simulation of a CMOS NAND gate. So in the future videos I will be taking up various circuits and also coming up with the layout design of all the various basic gates. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.